Oh, who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil, I'm a top grandmaster playing risk global domination. On my channel, we talk strategy. So for tips, tricks, and techniques, subscribe and follow. Today I am playing classic fixed um, with expert AI, but it's neutral. Blizzards are on, uh, alliances are on. What else do you need to know? Classic map fixed cards. That's about it. Blizzards, not super impactful blizzards. They bring the one point Australia guard all the way up to China. I'm going to make an alliance with yellow because I'm afraid they know who I am. And I need them to be my ally. I have a very good Europe play unless somebody else comes and tries to mess it up. But um, yeah, I think, I think Europe's my way to go on this one. <laughs> right. I don't even know why I need to say it. <laughs> like, look at I'm orange. Everything's everything's by Europe. Okay, green saying I want Australia. Even though you have nine here and I had six, I want Australia. If I was green, I probably would have gotten my take out of Australia. Made an alliance with red. Pointed to their seven. Said I'm sorry, but he attacked your territory. Try to get it out. That's what I probably would have done. And then, but I mean, green's all over the place. They had a terrible, and then they roll a two v one. Okay, okay. It'd be interesting to see the red green thing here. Um white did a, a a consolidation type move. So if all else stays the same, I I hit the one of pink right here, probably. I add two, hit the one, bring it into my six, and then leave everything else the same. Or maybe I bring it into my three. Yeah, that might be what I do. And then I'll have three big armies right here, and I can start maybe getting takes out of this eventually. So this pink maybe wants South America. Let's see what yellow does. They might end up just blocking my one take here because, because of um, just the way the board is. So I might need to get my take out of North America, which kind of makes it hard to, okay. We're gonna do this. way we can hit a one we can allow them to hit ones with their threes or to try and get out and we can start bringing everything in i'm, just, I'm going to slow play it i'm going to take it when it's cheap and easy i think red's getting out no red's coming in oh red's smoking Smoking green. That's what you get, man. That's what you get. My favorite type of cookie. Monster cookie, probably. I would have to say monster cookie. Leave it. Leave a message in the comments what your favorite type of cookie is. And if it's not monster, you're wrong. But just say it anyway. I haven't really allied too many people yet. Just yellow. I allied yellow because they acted like they might know who I am in in the when we were in the um, intro screen, the lobby, and. Um, I didn't want them to want to hit me. Maybe I hit the three of green now. Just get them off out of out of here. Because I can 73, 100% roll and bring my other three in. Have a big army. Look a little scary. Let's make an alliance with red. I don't want your Australia. 
I try to send alliances to people when I look like I might be threatening them. But sometimes they don't get it. What what is a monster cookie? says Comrade Comrade Ryan. Oh no, he did it. He did not just ask. I will explain it after me. A monster cookie is like an oatmeal cookie. And it has chocolate chips and M&Ms in it. And it's just packed with chocolatey goodness. And that is a monster cookie. And it's delicious and it's the best. <laughs> What's up? What's a beautiful man from Georgia? And that, my friends, is a monster cookie. Okay, I can bring this six into the 11. Yes. Yes. Gosh, do I just take Europe now? It's early. It's early to get a big continent. But I think white might punch the out of my continent. You know what? There's a heart for you. There's a heart for you, sir. Do monster cookies have raisins? Either way, no, no raisins. No raisins. We don't do raisins. So that's raisin cookies. Oatmeal raisin. Oh, because you were calling Andre beautiful. That was funny, noob. So, okay. So is pink body. Pink boss, that's fine. I might take it. I might take Europe. I might just go ahead and take Europe. Let's live on the edge a little. Let's get big and strong and powerful. I'm going to add two here. I'm going to attack here. Make it a three. Where do I want my big army? Do I want to be passive Europe or do I want to... I kind of like Ukraine, but with being blocked, it's not great. But I might be able to hold Europe. Way to be yellow. Way to be. They're probably like, I can't imagine them left right now. And then they roll the 2v1. Let's slide her so we don't lose too many troops. We got a five on that border. We put a three on that border. We fortify in like this. Let's make an alliance with pink. You and I are going to be neighbors. Let's not fight each other. I don't want to have to slam all your troops that are not right here. I'm big. Don't mess with me. Uh, red is playing progressive card. Maybe? No, they're trying to kill. They're trying to kill green. Okay, that's fine. You kill them for one card. You kill the person that bought it for one card. Is it, what was it? Ten troops? Well played, they say. Mm, I'm not so sure. No cards, but I have Europe, so in a couple of turns, it's basically like I have cards. Yeah. Yeah, I like to semi hard guard borders. So this is an investment, right? This is saying, don't break me. But I like to have an army too. 
White can mess with me, but I don't think they will because they sent me an alliance request. Oh, harsh. Okay. Who can still mess with me? Pink? Pink can mess with me. Pink messes with me. I think I blow them out over here and go back. Six v three. I don't think six v three is worth it. I would leave North America if I'm them. That's what I would do. Make my way slowly towards Africa. Watch them hit me. They're like, "What? Everyone's gonna let this guy hold Europe? No way! No, they didn't." And I would fortify up to show White that I'm getting out of Europe. Nope, they want to stick right in the middle. Okay, yellow. Yeah, I didn't think they'd do anything. Hmm. I'm cool with this. I'm gonna give them a thumbs up. I kind of was spawned without a way to get out. Alright, Pink, let's be homies. I was spawned without a way to get east. So I need people to open me. Is red my ally? He needs to accept my alliance. Yeah, no one wants to hit me. Why are all of these big blocks? You're talking about these. These are called blizzards, and they're just blocked off territories. It's an optional race. I think it, it's fun to just add blizzards. I don't always play with blizzards, but I think it's kind of fun. I think that's what you're asking me. White trades. I don't foresee them breaking me, otherwise they probably already would have. Yeah, they just want North America. Pink might want South, South America. They could trade and, and mess up Yellow's day. I really have no lines on anything right now. Grim Key Max. Grim Key, Grim Key Max. Is that what you're asking? Good. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to my channel, I also have a YouTube. It's Risky Phil, F I L, two words. And if you are watching this on YouTube, leave a comment, like, subscribe, etc. DTT Duchess, thank you for the follow. Two follows. Thank you guys. And Andre gave me bits. 300. How did I miss that seven minutes ago? Because he was talking about being beautiful. Thank you, Andre. Gosh, I'm so big. I don't even want to like. Can I just win this game? Not yet. Um, I'm not even trading. I'm just making a stack. No one can kill me. Can I kill somebody? Should I kill somebody? Can somebody kill me? Should they kill me? Can I win the game? Can I advance my position? Do I have cards? Should I trade the cards that I have? Are they a big set? Are they a small set? You gotta ask these questions in between turns. Um, and I didn't because I was distracted my chat by my chat. And um, but 
you can kind of hear me doing that sometimes. Not only am I asking myself these questions in between turns, I'm also building what I call behavior profiles, which is a proper turn um, on people, right? I'm like, how does this person act? How do they behave in this situation? What do they do when someone attacks them? What do they do? They are they consolidating well? You know, are they going ham for a continent, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? I'm building a behavior profile and it updates every turn on how do these people act? How do they act in different situations? And so I'm kind of actively doing two things. I'm building behavior profiles on people and I'm asking myself questions about the board. Can I win? Can I advance my position, et cetera? Um, and right now, I think that just sitting here and holding this and building an army and looking weaker, you could see I had a 10 set, but I didn't trade it. Looking weaker than I am was probably the way to go. So like if pink hits me, I'd probably be strong enough to be able to clear them out of Africa, retreat, give yellow some hearts. And um, well, let's see what happens here. Yellow is eventually not going to be able to get cards. Yeah. I'd be able to like hit them out of here and then somebody could come over here is basically what I was trying to say. Why would I not want my plus two? Can I kill somebody? Should I kill somebody? That would be 35, but I have to punch through nine extra. I really can't. I could maybe possibly kill somebody, but I don't think I should. I think it's too risky and I'm in too advantageous of a position. So I could go through one, two, hit a nine, that's 11, and then that's 39. So though I have a 45 stack, I would have a split, which is plus three, 42. Um, you know, I would my 45 stack would be barely able to kill yellow. Um, so I thought it was not advantageous. I could have also added here and here to kill pink for their cards. Um, but I think it was too hard of a split as well. If I can get white to take North America, then I can kill pink and possibly even transition it into yellow. But because I'm blocked on this side, it makes my lines hard. And I decided not to kill anybody. I can't attack pink. Pink is my ally. I kill my allies all the time, guys. If I think it's good for the game, I will kill my ally. Red's not my ally. Pink is my ally. I have no plans on doing it, though. I think pink is in for the long haul because they've gotten strong and they've played nice. So I think pink and I are in for the long haul together. Um, same with yellow. Pink's blocking yellow. So I don't think at any point in time, any time soon, I'm killing either of them unless like somebody else gets in some war with them or something. I'm so strong though that like, I wanna start taking people out of the game just to advance the game. And I'm not positional to take people out of the game. Like if I could if I could hit white, I would. But people are playing smart and keeping me blocked only one direction. So I think that I just take my I'm getting the most troops on the board. I think right now just turtling is the best strategy. How is tick four T 
T4X ticks. What are you asking? What's up, Manny? How you doing? What are you asking? T4X? Red's strong too, but not as strong as me. I'm the strongest. I need somebody over here to do something dumb. Or white to decide that they want to take North America. Something like that. And then we can advance the game. Tricks was the word I was looking for. How's tricks? What is that? Oh, I think that's a general how are you doing phrase. I've heard that before. Okay, posture check. Hydrate. I do need to hydrate. I'm big enough now that it, ooh, that was a big drink. That was a big drink all at once. If anybody attacks me, I can just probably wipe them out. All right. I'd be getting takes out of my other troops if I'm if I'm pink. I think. Oh, before too long, red's on the chopping block, but. I don't know if that's advantageous to my game. Okay, I got a stretch. Drink more pills, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not trading in because I want to look weak. Even though I'm very, very strong. I could start using alliances to hit people. I just realized you might be able to see my butt. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee Light. That was a commercial. Oh, yeah, that feels good, actually. I'm now opened to the right, but red is right there. Oh, wow. Come on, white. Slam, slam pink. Yeah, slam, dude. Twenty-eight onto the eleven. They're saying, "Get out of my continent." I I do constantly look for like ways to kill and win the game, but it's just not here today. People are playing relatively smart, so. They're saying, no, you can't have it. You are not getting a continent. Double, double tapping. Hmm. Oh, I can kill white for three cards. 40 troops. It's pretty expensive. I think I want to see what plays out between white. Okay, they're already skipping. I'm just checking, like, I, I'm not very likely to get any of those, so I could kill white. I could kill red but then it puts me in a disadvantageous situation where they could just all hit me i sent an alliance to red i could probably kill white into yellow and get to a two-player game. 
White will have four cards, that'd be seven. Then I'd be at four, then yellow would give me another trade. Uh, it's it's difficult though, because I might I don't think I can actually do that. I don't think I can actually kill yellow, and then I'll be weak. White traded anyway. Yeah, I hit him. They have one card. We might see pink punch through me to hit white here. In which case. Yeah, they're just going to take a card and pass. That's the smart thing to do. And they trade. Okay. Yeah, they were pretty weak. I don't know. I don't know if I wanted to kill them by myself, but. White only has one card. I'm at a decision point. Kind of want to take off of that border with white. Here's what I'm going to do. I block myself again. Let's see if I can do this without blocking myself. Okay. I don't try to run. I come. I try to come and step in and make my ally win. Whoa, DTT justice! Don't block white though. White gets to hold. White gets to hold. Does pink allow them to? White will cool make a comeback in this game. If I kill white, I'll have 49 troops left ish. Breaking our alliance. See if they re-up the alliance after they break white. I moved my five off so they could cut through me to break white. That was the whole point to what I did. I thought a war between them was worth losing some troops. Let's see if they slam white. I think yellow gets a card here. Halfsies? Pink might have just been too weak. Do I go a turn without holding it?
I think I just go a turn without the continent to give white basically permission to like come through and smack pink. Did I send an alliance back to pink? Let's send an alliance back to them. But where are we at with yellow and red? Red's pretty strong. I need to get my continent back in order to beat red. I need these two to slam each other so I can take them out of the game. Do I spin a wheel to see who gets the almighty alliance? Somebody said something to me earlier. The CB Gamer, hey, how are you? Um, no, I don't spin a wheel to see who gets the alliance. I send alliances when I think the proximity makes sense, if that makes sense. I have no problem. I will accept alliances from anybody. I need my continent back, Pink. That three's gone. Yeah, you know what? I'll save the wild for for two. Slide her down to three. I like a five there. Yeah, I send alliances when I think it benefits me. Like, it benefits me to have an alliance with red because red could break me. And then I get into a war with red where the two strongest players and, you know, like I have to decide, do I do I kill red or, or what, right? Uh, am I allied with white? White sent me an alliance. Pink sent me an alliance. And then pink took Africa. I sent an alliance to yellow because I think that yellow knows me based on how they're acting in the um in the lobby and I didn't want someone that knows me to like fear playing me. So that's kind of how like I have reasons for alliances. All right, am I gonna let red get big? I'm hope I was hoping that like white and pink would attack each other more, but they didn't. We'll see if pink goes through me to hit red. I did not expect red to take Africa actually. Let's take it out of context. Yeah, yeah, that's basically it. Now they're gonna slam each other. I'll come through and hit them and make it a three player in game. But I, if they slam each other. So pink wants they can come through red or they can come through white. They're kind of deciding who to suicide. And they can't really decide. I don't know if they're still trying to win the game.
I really would like yellow to attack. Why that one? I really like yellow to attack somebody. They're super passive, which is fine. I've been playing passive this game too. Do I just kill pink? If I can kill pink, I can take red completely out and block them. I can take a card and pass. All right, I'm just going to take a card and pass this time. Pretty sure I'm going to... Ah, pink has four cards, so... I think either pink's going to come in and, and take Africa back, or white's going to hit pink. Something like that's going to happen. Red and I are cool. Red is out generating me. That's okay. I'm not always worried about getting the most generation. I think worrying about getting the most generation is somewhat of a fallacy in risk. How many times have you seen someone have the most generation and then they get into a war and they die? Pink might hate me. Do they have cards? They have cards. They might slam me. They might noob slam me. But I don't think so. I haven't really done anything to them all game. There's probably no card. They should hate red and white more. But sometimes people turn around and slam somebody for like no reason. I hope yellow hits red. That's what I hope in this situation. They break red. They're super passive. They're super passive. I can still kill pink. I can really mess with red. But that might end up being the death of me. Taking one card and passing is terrible. Not that terrible. All right, we'll just take a card and pass. Maybe I should have killed pink last turn. Super turtly here in Europe. Because I can be Ukraine and Middle East, and then I can hold either Africa or yellow can take over Africa. Okay, you guys are slam red. <laughs> I'm thinking about slamming red, actually. Like, I'm thinking about it. Um, yellow might win this game. They're worried about pink slamming them. Yeah.
They got the bug. Oh no. Oh, they got the bug. But they all added there. The bug wouldn't do that, would it? Yeah, I think yellow is in a great position in this game. Because there's going to be animosity between me and red. Pink has 70 troops blocking Australia. You know what, dude? No, man. I don't know if it's the right play to hit red. Yeah. We are looking at a stalemate. I could stop Blitz Pink. But Red never accepted my alliance. I've also thought about soft blitzing Red, taking over Africa, leaving like 30 troops on Middle East and Ukraine. Telling yellow they can attack me. Trying to be cool with yellow. White's out of the game. There's no reason not to hit white now that they're out of the game. Yellow's so passive. But I think I think that's all risky. Okay, so the bug just adds somewhere at the end. Hmm. Yeah, they just have the bug and it's neutral bots. I don't, yeah, I can't communicate with Red and be like, do you want to hit pink? Yes, no, yes, no. Let's say attack red. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, but are we are we gonna attack red? I want a thumbs up. Or yes. Okay. I will help you. If you and I attack red, we can win this game. White needs to stay in the game so they don't get last place. Good. Now I have to attack red too. Okay, I'm going to help them.
and tell yellow, hack my territory if you need to. This is yellow, right? Yep. I'm gonna give him hearts. And I might just need to kill red, I guess, or hit more troops. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm in a 1v1 with yellow. I'm in a 1v1 with yellow. Does... Yellow gets the first strike on me. Wow, that that worked. The zero percent chance. Roll. Okay, let's attack white. Let's attack red. Let's attack and let's attack pink. Let's see if pink has cards. So they don't quite have enough to beat me, but they might get attacker's advantage on me. Pink doesn't get cards. They have to bust through me and open my 71 in order to kill these guys. They might be able to cut through me and kill pink. That's fine. Yeah, I understand. They're going to attack white. They're playing for second. I kill white and then uh, no. We're making alliance with them and ask them to attack white. Because right now I'm crushing you in a 1v1. And I'm going to win the game. But you can get second. Yeah. I lost, lost 16 hit in a 5. Yeah, I didn't really have time to slaughter blitz there either. I want to work on white together. I want you to hit white. Help me, and you can get second. 
fight me and I'm going to beat white. Go attack white. Coming right behind you and I'm slamming everything. They need a lot of luck here. I mean, they don't got it. They need if they go slam white for me, I will give them seven. But if they keep hitting me, I'm just gonna kill them first. Ah man, you and I were homies. You just keep yourself blocked. Now watch they faked it. Well played. Good luck. All right. Could just leave in Australia with one territory and kill White. Honestly, like, I could have, but it's not White's fault. White and I were homies too. Yellow could have worked with me. I tried to send them alliances and stuff and they didn't. So because Yellow decided not to work with me, White stick around. It wasn't their fault. I decided I'd give white second. Yeah. Yeah, if they would have accepted second, I would have given yellow second. If they would have come and slammed white, I would have helped slam white together and they would have got second. But instead, they attacked me instead. And so I, I gave white second. So note, this is a really important note. That would be funny if I was faking the whole time. This is a really important note. If you have lost the game and you can still get second, you should probably help the person eliminate the other person. And then they're going to be more likely to still keep the advantage but give you second. Or is this is fine? This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Feeding. Yeah. I got you, dude. Shoot, I stepped away for just a minute. What did I miss? Um. I took red out of, I had yellow attack Africa. I took red out of Africa and I did basically the four continent game block with Middle East and Ukraine. White is, um, has a bug. Good, good game. And yellow attacked me instead of attacking white with me, even though they were down like 30 troops in the card. And so I killed yellow and gave white second. Night, Maddie. 
I wish it was like but all right so Kojo Jones was what color anyway subscribe follow let me know what you think and tell me your favorite type of cookie